Hey there friends, welcome back to the channel, my name is Andy, and as a history fan, right, history fan, I have a goddamn master's degree in history, sure I'm a fucking history fan. I'm constantly looking for entertainment that can quench my never-ending thirst for immersive games taking place in historical settings. And, if you're watching this video, I'll assume you're a fan of history. And if you're a fan of history, well, I think it's fair to assume you love your share of Rome. So in this video, we'll be looking at the best games taking place during the time of the Roman Republic and or Empire. Republic, Empire, what's the difference really? We all love the Mediterranean and hate Carthage around here, don't we? Don't we? <laughs> don't we? We'll start by looking at the Roman era games you can go get right now, and then talk about the most promising Roman era game coming up. First game on the list is Grand Ages Rome. Grand Ages Rome. It's a funny name for a game where the NPCs will burn down the sausage producing building simply because they want more sausages produced. But apart from that, Grand Ages Rome is charming. Sequel to Imperium Romanum and originally released in 2009, Grand Ages is essentially a city builder where you need to manage the construction of Roman cities while defending its borders from enemy armies. It's far from as epic as some other games on this list, but Grand Ages Rome doesn't really attempt to be epic more wholesome, more relaxing than epic, you must carefully manage how you build your city and manage your citizens. As just like real people, they have needs, and they need their daily supply of sausages if you know what I mean. Grand Ages Rome offers a great campaign as well as a free builder mode. So if you want some story and structure to your gameplay, then I recommend beginning with the campaign. Next up is Assassin's Creed Origins. Now I know what you're thinking. Andy, bro, this game doesn't even take place in Rome. You don't even play as a Roman. Well, friend, right on both accounts. But Origins takes place during the Roman Republic in Egypt, which has yet to be made a Roman province. Thing is, Cleopatra is still in control of this place. Or, that is to say, she's fighting her brother and husband Ptolemy for control, and who decides to show up in this fertile land but Caesar himself? Origins isn't perfect, and I almost wish they would remake the game with deeper mechanics or just like make another one. But if you love the mystique of ancient Egyptian deserts, a good main character couple, a beautiful world and some Roman flavor, then Assassin's Creed Origins just might scratch your itch. Speaking of Roman flavor, the next game is Imperator Rome. Imperator originally came out in 2019, but was recently given a massive overhaul which changed everything from UI to army systems, politics, diplomacy and well, just about everything. Imperator is a Paradox Grand strategy game, so if you're in the market for a game that will take some time to learn but will feel greatly rewarding, then few choices are as strong as Imperator. It's also a really good time to get into Imperator now. The developers just announced that the game will freeze development, perhaps indefinitely, so the game is pretty much fully developed, and there's no worrying about same games being invalid due to some annoying update. This might bode well for the modding scene as well, so there's many reasons as to why now is the right time to dive into the ancient world of Imperator Rome. Age of Empires is always a classic, and in the first game, you're able to play as the Romans as they progress throughout the ancient eras. Rome's strength lies, as always, in her soldiers and economic power, and feels the strongest legions in the game. If you're into city builders with a military bad boy side, then playing Rome in the first Age of Empire game is no bad way to go, especially in the HD edition. And on the topic of ancient, let's hear it for one of strategy games classics, Rome Total War. Or, since it's the only version available on Steam anymore, Total War Rome Remastered. Rome Remastered is the updated version of the tried and tested Total War game set in the Roman era, which offers some great campaign elements and awesome battles with thousands of units hashing it out. Rome Remastered offers the base game plus the two expansions, Barbarian Invasion and Alexander. So if you've got some weeks of gaming to kill, you can't really go wrong here. Even with updated graphics though, Rome is beginning to show its age, especially in terms of AI and pathfinding. This brings us to Total War Rome 2, the sequel. Not only does it look even more realistic, but Rome 2 offers a bigger campaign map with relatively deep political party mechanics and a host of new factions, even allowing you to play online multiplayer campaign games with or against a friend. Both of these games are made drastically better with mods, which can be downloaded from the Steam Workshop so make sure to check out the modding scene if you're picking one of these two games up. At this stage, I highly recommend RTR Imperium Surrectum for Rome Remastered and DVD at Impra for Rome 2. Happy conquering! Now we turn to Civilization VI, which admittedly does not focus on Rome specifically, but which will allow you to play as Rome by assuming the role of Emperor Trajan. As Rome, you can build Roman baths as a unique building for your faction, and you can also recruit Roman legionaries as your unique antiquity-era soldier. 
Civilization is mainly a civilization builder, the Doi, where you take your realm from being a tribe to a modern state. So even though you technically play as Rome, it's your job to make sure the Eternal City survives and thrives throughout the ages. Now, let's move from the days of the Republic to the Empire, however decadent it becomes, shall we? We begin with Rise Son of Rome, a massively underrated game. Rise puts you in the shoes of Marius, a Roman legionary who's on a journey to defend Rome from doom following a barbarian invasion. You get to run around in Rome itself, siege British forts and take in some beautiful aqueduct vistas. But the most badass part of this game, and you'll love this if you love the movie 300, has to be the combat system. Right from the get-go, Rise shows you how seriously it takes that cinematic vision, having you fight your enemies like a relatively normal hack and slash where you slash, roll and block, but we will finally get to pull some sweet execution moves to finish off your enemies in style. Rise also had a fairly cool gladiator multiplayer mode, where you and an ally fight enemies in the ring. Rise can be a bit repetitive, and I truly wish the game was longer and more diverse, but honestly, what's here is decent, and even awesome if you're a Romophile, and I wish Crytek would revive the series. Either way, Roma and Victa and all that. If Assassin's Creed Origins is the big open world of antiquity, then Rise Son of Rome has to be the short but intense cinematic experience. Exclusive to Xbox One in the beginning, Rise is available on PC right now with the capability of that lovely 60fps or higher. In the same vein, Total War Attila takes place after the split of the Roman Empire, namely in 395 AD. Rome is decadent as fuck in this one, and it'll take a true military genius to return Rome to her former glory. In the West, Rome must combat extreme squalor, unrest and religious fervor, combined with incoming barbarian hordes in the north and African tribes in the south. In the East, Rome faces the hostile Sassanid Empire and has barbarians of her own to deal with, but sits in an overall better position than its ally in the West. If you want to see Rome bleed some more, you may of course assume the role of German tribes, the Sassanid Empire or even the Huns themselves. Like with Rome 1 and 2, Attila has a bustling modding scene, so there's no shortage of campaigns to play here. Attila seems to me like the best of classic and modern Total War, just be aware of some performance issues. This game is quite heavy on the hardware. And speaking of the most utter decadent piece of shit empire ever, The Age of Decadence is a mixed fantasy and historical classical role-playing game taking place in a world where civilization is on the brink of ruin, but where a Roman-style government is still clinging on to power. The Age of Decadence is a hardcore experience and certainly not for everyone, but if you dare to test your skills in this dark RPG, I'm sure you won't regret it. Now those were the main games I had in mind for Rome lovers out there. But, as a little extra, I want to quickly feature some overhaul mods which expands the possibility of having those sweet Roman experiences elsewhere. Mountain Blade Bannerlord is first and foremost an alternative reality slash fantasy based game, which in itself takes place during a period which reminds us very much of the late Roman Empire. However, CA Eagle Rising is a mod in development which introduces Roman units, so you can finally fulfill your Total War dreams of playing as one unit on the battlefield among hundreds of other soldiers under your command. Similarly, or perhaps the exact opposite of this, Imperator Rome has an upcoming mod known as the Fall of Rome, which will move the game from taking place during the BCs to the ADs, pitting the Western and Eastern Roman Empire up against their enemies and maybe even each other. The Fallen Eagle, the Dawn of the Dark Ages does the same for Crusader Kings 3. So if you're up for some hardcore strategy challenges, then these modders got your back. There are even more Roman era games out there that I haven't played, no way, but which you can go check out right now. From Field of Glory Empires, to Aggressors Ancient Rome and Alia Iacta Est. These are all fairly deep strategy games, so keep that in mind. I promised to mention an upcoming Roman era game too, and even though there aren't many, there is at least one I wanted to point out. That game is Expeditions Rome. If that name sounds familiar, that's because the spiritual sequel, Expeditions Viking, is a great game that came out a few years ago from the same developer. Expeditions Rome will be a role-playing game in the classical sense, where you'll create your own character, engage in turn-based combat, level up, find loot, travel with companions, and embark on a story which takes you from North Africa to Greece, Gaul, and Rome herself. I loved Expeditions Viking. So if that's anything to go by, Expeditions Rome is certainly one to look out for. And that, my friends, were some great games to check out if you're a fan of Roman history. If I have forgotten any titles, then please let me know in the comments. We have some great games here, but as always, I wish we had even more, as I've certainly made clear before. Thank you so much for watching, friends. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel, 
and consider supporting the channel on Patreon. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.